Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be discussing how Mord have lost 90% of its player base. A formal warning before I start the video, the gameplay that you'll see is horrendous as I hadn't played the game in months. I really didn't have the patience for this game to bother going for a match where I would actually play well. This video is made out of research from articles and events throughout the history of this game, as well as my experiences with it and my opinion, so it's completely fine if you don't agree with me. I'll also be leaving the links to the articles that I will use in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Mordhau is a game developed and published by Triterion Studio, released on 29th of April 2019. The launch of the game wasn't exactly stable, as progression was broken and you weren't able to level up for some time, as the devs didn't expect such a huge player base in the first few days. However, this was eventually fixed and people were compensated. The original maps that the game released with were never really balanced to begin with where maps would almost always favor one team over the other, where the better team to get the first point would steamroll the other with draining tickets without a chance of a comeback, which really made the challenge aspect of the game non-existent on both sides. On the 21st of May 2019, the devs launched a ban wave, where they banned over 2000 players for allegedly using third-party software which gives them an advantage in the game, including me, myself and I. The forums were flooded with people claiming to have never used cheats in any game, and some people wouldn't have risked cheating with their main Steam accounts, with over 100 levels and above players were getting VAC banned on their Steam profile. However, in the next two days, the devs were still prideful, claiming that even after checking the ban appeals, they were all still lying, and that there was nothing wrong with their flawed anti-cheat system. Me and other players fought for the right to play the games that they paid for, as they had never cheated, we went on Discord and started talking with the devs and moderators, and none of them answered us. This is when I came to the realization of how toxic the Mordhau community is, where we were being flooded with hate replies from our own community. Me and other players were hammered with toxic replies of how I suck at the game for using cheats and other related replies, as if those guys had no doubt that the indie team that consists of 11 developers could ever make such a mistake was an anti-cheat system made of their own that clearly had flaws which the devs refused to admit because they were too prideful. On the 23rd of May, the devs finally admitted that some of the accusations were wrong and overturned most of them. However, this incident made it very clear to me of how toxic this community would become and how the devs are not willing to improve the game and admit their mistakes. As far as I know, the devs didn't even care enough to apologize or compensate the people for their time, like me. In the next few months, the game's player base would start to decline as new content and necessary fixes as well as very needed server optimizations were not being added. The game would get occasional updates like the Crossroads map, which actually added more issues and the map was terrible to play on and unbalanced just like the maps that the game started with. Later on, the devs would go on to update the game by adding some gear as well as a ranked duel mode, so that the tryhards would stop flexing on beginners in frontline and add the invasion mode which is a new mode focusing on a team attacking and the other one defending. On the already broken vanilla maps without adding new maps or balancing old ones and without fixing the terrible servers. Some people might argue that we should be thankful for the small devs that they are adding small updates every now and then for a $30 game. But you have to keep in mind that the game sold 500,000 copies on its first week and 1 million after about a month. So for the amount of success and money they got these updates are nothing but awful. And you can't go with they are only 11 devs because they can be much more than that with what they got but they choose not to they have the money they have the team and they can expand much more now. In the meantime, a lot of controversy happened about the devs planning to add females and colored characters to increase diversity and the other devs stated that there were no plans for such things, but I won't address that here as I actually agree with them, but I will leave the article link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. The player base being as toxic as it is never helped the game either. Players would report that others would have racist, sexist, and homophobic speeches in the in-game chat and on forums, and the devs wouldn't do anything about it. 
This is from the BC Gamer article. One of the forum's most popular threads is titled Boost Your Niggas. The thread started in 2017 when Modha was an alpha and that attracted more than 2,600 comments since. One of those comments says, Step up my niggas. Another says, Listen here, faggot. When one player questions the racism in the thread's title, another responds, You are gay. And do you know what did the devs say about this? Andrew Geach, speaking on behalf of the team, says, As for the title itself, we as a team don't find it racist or offensive, and considering the thread's content, we find it even less so. We do understand, however, that some people may interpret it as being racist or inappropriate, if taken out of context. Another instance of this was when a user was constantly boosting racist comments on the game's phones. We white people just can't have anything to ourselves, can we? The user in question posted recently. Now we can't even play our fucking video games in peace without some dog like yourself screaming bloody murder over the lack of negroids. The user's account is still active and if you spend 5 minutes on the forums you will find many likes on it. This just shows you how toxic the Mondhau community is and how unwilling the developers are to take hard measures against these guys. And you can't even report people on the forums nor in game. You have to take a screenshot and post it to the devs on Discord. And most likely they won't even do anything about it. As I said on the title of the video, Mordhau has lost over 90% of its player base. On the Steam charts, you can see that the all time peak was in May at 60,000 players. Now the game barely reaches 6,000 players at 24 hours peak as of September. And it will likely only get worse from here. The Steam reviews shows how awful the game has come to be. With a mixed rating of 52% of the Steam reviews in the last 30 days, being positive. Right now, most of the people that are still playing this game are the salty tryhards who survived through the grind which makes the game extremely unwelcoming to new players. So if you were planning to buy this game, I would suggest you don't. In conclusion, the game lost its players the same way that Chivalry Medieval Warfare did, with devs who don't care about fixing their game, and only add minimal unpolished updates that doesn't serve the game in a good way. I really don't recommend buying this game as it's extremely hard for beginners and it's really not worth it right now especially after seeing how the players keep on declining. There is no matchmaking in this game to speak of at least in casual play. Players who could have just started the game with level 1 characters can go up against level 100 players and it's completely fine for the devs. No one is playing horde mode, no one is playing battle royale and it will most likely stay like this. The way I see it, the game developers got a lot more money than they ever expected and will most likely not develop this game anymore, just like how it happened with Daisy. And even if the devs were to release a massive update, then it would be too late, as the damage has already been done and most of the players who left likely won't bother to get back in and relearn the game. There is a lot more that we could talk about, but I really don't want to drag this video any longer, so... I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I spent a lot of time to research this so I don't have any wrong facts and if I do have any wrong facts, please tell me down in the comments, I would greatly accept it, I keep learning. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you liked the video maybe you can consider subscribing, so yeah, have a great day guys.